Laura Elizabeth Ingalls Wilder was born on February 7, 1867 in Pepin County, Wisconsin. She was the second child of Charles and Caroline Ingalls. Their first child, Mary Amelia, had been born two years earlier, also in Pepin County. Although most readers of Wilder's Little House books assume that Little House in the Big Woods was based on Wilder's earliest childhood memories. Wilder probably recalled very little of her family's everyday life when they first lived in the little gray house made of logs where this book takes place. When Wilder was two years old in 1869, Charles and Caroline Ingalls moved from Wisconsin to the Osage Diminished Indian Reserve in Kansas, or as Wilder identified it later, Indian Territory. Wilder's first childhood memories probably sprang from this period of her life. Her handwritten rough draft autobiography, Pioneer Girl, opens here. Once upon a time, years and years ago, Pa stopped the horses and the wagon they were hauling away out on the prairie in Indian Territory. Well, Caroline, he said, here's the place we've been looking for. Might as well camp. But it's possible that Charles and Caroline Ingalls actually moved their young family from Wisconsin to Missouri and then to Kansas, something we'll discuss later. In 1870, however, the Ingalls family appears on the federal census living in Montgomery County, Kansas. If you look closely, very closely, you'll see that the C.P. Ingalls family, I-N-G-L-E-S, the census taker misspelled Ingalls, lived in Rutland Township, just west of Walnut Creek. Charles identified himself as a carpenter, and the census taker estimated the value of the family's personal estate at $200. He left the column blank that asked for the value of the family's real estate. He did this for everyone living in Rutland Township because the lands belonged to the Osage Indians and settlers had no title to said lands. In other words, the Ingalls family, along with the rest of the white settlers on the Osage Diminished Indian Reserve, were there illegally, something we'll discuss in more detail later on. Unlike her fictional counterpart, Caroline Celestial Ingalls, otherwise known as Carrie, was born in Indian Territory just a few days before the census taker came through Wetland Township in August 1870. But the family didn't linger in Indian Territory. They left the following year, probably in the spring of 1871. Yet the real English family didn't move west. Instead, they returned to their old home in Wisconsin. And as Wilder writes in Pioneer Girl, the house was larger than the one we left on the prairie. There were lots of windows, and the house was very comfortable and cozy, set down among the hills in the Wisconsin woods. The events Wilder describes in her first novel, Little House in the Big Woods, sprang from this period of her life, her family's second residency in Wisconsin. So even this early in the Little House series, right from the very beginning, Wilder made a major shift in the lives of her fictional family versus the real one. As we'll see, she did this again and again and again. Pioneer Girl describes many of the episodes Wilder chose to depict in Little House in the Big Woods. Pa making bullets. Ma mistaking a bear in the barnyard for the family cow. The dance at Grandpa's. Cousin Charlie and the Yellow Jackets. But the fictional Ingalls family is far more isolated than the real family ever was. The real Laura Ingalls was surrounded by family and neighbors. She even went to school for the first time in Wisconsin. Wilder attended the Barry Corner School, which was only a little way down the road, she wrote. And she recalled that the classroom was crowded with lots of boys and girls I didn't know. We'll examine why Wilder made this important shift when we examine Little House in the Big Woods, but it was a critical creative decision 
that came to characterize how readers perceived the fictional Ingalls family. The real Ingalls family did, in fact, move west from Wisconsin to Minnesota, as the fictional family eventually does in the Little House series. Laura was six when the family moved west in 1873. The real family lived in a dugout, very much like the one described in the book. There, the real Laura Ingalls struggled with an adversary named Nellie, attended school, and played in Plum Creek. And in fact, the Ingalls family endured a plague of grasshoppers that wiped out their golden crop of wheat. But unlike their fictional counterparts, the real Ingalls family didn't stick life out on the farm on Plum Creek. They moved east. And as we'll see in the next lecture, Wilder chose not to write about any of the family's experiences there in the Little House series.